What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another War Thunder video. Today we're taking out the Sherman with the FL-10 turret. This is a premium French tank. Costs 30 US dollars. And I highly recommend it if you're looking to get into the uh, French tanks with a good premium vehicle for a re relatively low price. I think for, for your money, this is a far better deal than the $40 uh, variant with the ATGMs. Don't, don't get me wrong, it's a good tank, but for its BR, it's not as good as this is. Now, this is from patch 1.77, and there has been a change. Gone are the 12 round clips. Now you can take as much ammo as you want, regardless of the clip size, and just go to, go to town. And you still have a 5 second reload. This makes for a very, very dangerous tank. Now, given the train, I decided to change my reticle. Um, there's going to be some dark areas on this map, such as these factories, and I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to lose visibility of the uh, of the gun sight, so I changed that. If you don't know how to do that, you can look in your options under your, under your controls. So as I push up here, I noticed a couple of tanks go whizzing past. There are two M18s. They're going up around that factory building or warehouse building, whatever it is. I, I mark them on the on the map for the teammates. Then I consider going in towards the middle of the map, towards the cap. After all, that's where the heart of the action is going to be. But then I have second thoughts. I think, well, what if what if these two M18s, who are working in a squad, they're flanking around the entire perimeter of the map, what if they are successful? What's likely going to happen to my team? Not good things, that's for sure. So we're going to push forward and go after them. Kind of feels odd, odd going back towards my spawn this, this, this early in the game. But you gotta take out these M18s. Look at these two guys just cruising. Commander and loader on the first one. But they both get in, into cover before I can take a, a second shot. And they're ganging up on the Hetzer. This is this is the sort of thing I didn't want to happen. But at least they only get one guy. They don't get multiples. First one pushes out. Take him down. Second one hesitates. Reverses. He thinks he's safe because he's behind a railroad car, but no. <laughs> Think again, my friend. Two guys down, and now we're a hell of a lot safer. Now where to go? Odds are, there's no one that went around with him. M18s tend to be pretty fast, and they tend to uh, be able to keep up with one another, so it's unlikely that there are more. And I see a heavy. It's a Jumbo Sherman here. I aim for the machine gun port, and I aim just a little bit too high. And I don't push out any further, because there's just no there's no point. I've got allies there, and I can't reliably bounce a, a Sherman uh, shot on this on this Sherman. Oddly enough, the, the M41 has really weak turret armor, really weak hull armor. It's just a, a very weak uh, vehicle. And because of that, your best option is to flank as much as you can as often as you can. Now this match, I was fully up tiered. We were up against 5.7, the Sherman is a 4.7, and I put on a 100% Silver Lion booster. So we get a full up tier and a booster. This is going to go really well, right? <laughs> it always does. It's, it always goes swimmingly. One, one, the one good thing about this is we got one cap. Because of that, well, well, I should say that I normally don't enjoy one cap maps, but this one is really good because it tends to funnel everyone in towards the middle of the map. And so I just get into this little location and wait for them to push out. I see another Sherman. There was an SPA that drove through. Another one pops out. M M19 rather. Uh, tracked him, and I just wait for him to repair his tracks and for him to push out. Germans down. I don't aim through the rail car because I'm I'm likely to hit one of the support st structures, so, uh, one of the metal pieces, and my shell will likely not pen through that and hit the tank. So I just wait for him to uh, reappear. Come on, in my team. There we go. That was one of the earlier Hellcat drivers that I killed. They did decap it, however. 
And you notice there's just a turret of a vehicle back there, and I used the rangefinder option to get a range on him. 700 meters. Take aim, I just... I, I overshot it. I aimed for 800. And he's out of sight. Anybody else want to come join the party? I marked the rough, the rough location where that other tank went. Here we got another a jumbo pops up. Fuel tank. Doesn't get the fire though. Here we go. Ammunition rack. Another tank here. What's. Comet. And we got an M6A1. <laughs> Just roll on in, boys. I got ammo for days. Or, or I, th I thought I did. I, I actually start to run out. At some point. Right now, I'm doing okay. Got, what, 14 shells. But that 5 second reload, it, it's incredible. Especially for moments like this where you have multiple tanks rolling into a location. You can just uh, light them on fire. And that's what I what I do with this M6, is I just have to eventually aim for the uh, aim for the engines and fuel tanks. Because I, I can't get enough of his, of his crew compartment. He's too well hidden there. There, I just drive off. There's just, there's no point in wasting any more ammo. I'm down to 10 rounds after all. I entered this battle with, a, with, with a, I thought I had enough. I had, I think I took 28 rounds or somewhere or thereabouts. I recommend taking as much ammo as you reliably think you, you, you'll use. For most tanks, that's usually about 25 for me. I don't usually exceed that, that that number. So he goes down, that's kill number 6. Now we're pushing on. Now what surprised me so far in this battle is that no one has really extended out and over the north side of the, on the map. Out around that same route that the M18s took. I really expected more vehicles to go that way as people do tend to flank. Not everyone, of course, but m many, uh, many of the people in the light tanks will try to use their mobility, get around the flanks, uh, and uh, shoot people in the side or the back, as they're all focused towards the center of the map. Still, no one pushing out. We're starting to lose, lose vehicles, though. Uh, P-47 on the enemy team is racking them up. Got a friendly here asking for support. So we're going to head that way and see what we can do. You'll notice that while I'm driving and not firing, that the loader is busy. He's he's rearranging ammunition uh, shells. That's what that symbol is down on the on the lower half of the map, or the uh, screen. He's rearranging it into a, a faster reloading position so that they can reload that, that shell as, as soon as they can. This is new to 1.77. I'll put a link to the patch notes that uh, talks about the ammunition loading system in the video description below. I marked this Sherman's location on the on the map for my teammates so that they know where to look. He takes aim. I, I, I hesitate here because I didn't want to shoot the snow. I wanted to make sure I got close enough to get a, an accurate shot. I was just hoping to get the gun breach, but it ended up taking out just about everything. <laughs> He's shrapneling and as well as the penetration on this tank is just it's just excellent. Couple that with a five second reload and no longer needing to wait for that clip system to reload. Because there was a, a pretty long reload in between the the time where you use that twelfth round and that that next magazine loading or, or clip loading. This new loading system is, is excellent. If you haven't used this vehicle yet if you're contemplating purchasing it, uh, I would recommend it now that, that this loading system has been overhauled. It's made this tank a lot more dangerous. That Churchill's side armor is a lot more durable than I remember it. But you just have to hit the right spot. It's kill number eight. I'm trying to get that, that double ace, that rare double ace. I haven't had a double ace in quite a while in one tank. But they're, they're really running low on tickets. <laughs> and players as well. Still got a number of players, but I think a lot of them are either in the air or are in SPA near their, their spawn, as is typical. 
this late in the battle. Alright, somebody sees something on that main road coming in towards Alpha, but. So after waiting around here, I decided to re reverse. This is one of the other weak weaknesses of this vehicle. The Sherman's reverse speed is panther esque and it's, it's just terrible. Driving forward, though, it's, it's, it's just fine. As I push forward to go after whatever this vehicle is, I hug this wall just a little bit. Just to help hide myself from this guy, because you don't want him to see you as you approach. I shoot through the debris and take out the ninth kill, the M24 Chaffee. It's a cute little tank, but it doesn't stand much of a chance against this shell. Question is, where's this? Is there, is there anyone left on the ground? <laughs> and are they going to come after the cap? Well, if they're not going to come after the cap, we're going to go after them. What'd you find, buddy? Uh-oh. It's an Avenger. Alright. Let's see if I can get a sneaky, cheeky, breaky shot through here. Come on, Avenger. Levi 10th kill. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there he is. Oh, damn it. What a nice way to end the match. Ten kills, double ace. It doesn't happen to me very often. Especially with one tank. It's one thing to do it with two or three tanks, but one tank, that's nice. So with a silver line booster of 100% on a premium tank, managed to pull in 135,000 silver lines. Excellent. I could definitely use that, as top tier tanks is pretty expensive to, uh, to be buying. Quite a quite a nice chunk of, of RP, but because I'm grinding a top tier vehicle, it doesn't really uh, work out so well in my favor. If you're in the market for a premium vehicle to start your grind on the French Tech 3, you really can't go wrong with this vehicle. Just remember, it does not have good armor, so you have to be sneaky, you have to be uh, on the flank like I was, and you're going to get up tiered eventually. But don't fret, because this 75mm gun is more than capable. I'm going to leave you with some highlights of a match I had a couple weeks ago, uh, just before 1.77 was released. I think you guys will get a kick out of the M18 kill in that. Anyway guys, I th thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up button. And of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Take care guys.